morning guys, G2P Angler, Jason Reese here, heading out in a beautiful August Sunday. My friend Paul invited me out today with us. We've got Mike. Bill and Bill. Mike back here. And we are heading out to do a little bit of running gunning for Mahi today. So going out to see how Paul's team puts a uh, day fishing together here offshore. Paul's new 34 foot Jupiter is an absolute gorgeous fishing machine. And the guys are nice enough to share some knowledge around using these out rovers to, uh, to catch Mahi out here. So stick around for some pro tips. A red one for port. You don't have an outrigger. Little skegs on them for directional pull. And the manufacturer says you connect the bait right to here. I run a 10 to 12 foot leader off the back. I actually have a buddy of mine who runs a 30 foot leader off the back. Uh, just 50 pound mono. Doesn't have to be fluoro, but uh, seem to have really good luck. And this is pulls it out to the side to keep your out outrigger base side. further out. Exactly. It pulls it out into the clean water. All right. First time trying an out rover. See how these go today. You want to try and get the bait on the front side of the wave. Running a, um, a six line spread this morning. So we've got one, one planer with a strip and then two rovers out here with these plastic birds that pull one side to the other. And um, we have a combination of valley hula skirts and uh, instant strips out there. So six lines, we're gonna empty the water. We keep it going for a few seconds, see if we get a uh, double. Yep. All right, first fish on. But that's here's here. the birds right here. Right here, Paul. All right. There's right Mahi on. on the rover. All right. Little guy, we need to clear lines. He's a little guy. Don't no, I don't think you need to clear lines, but might need to go to flight item. Alright. I've only got one in here just to keep the line straight. Do we have a split gas? No, you're gonna lift him yeah. if he's still right, on. Lift oh yeah, he's still, still on. on. Yeah. So I'm gonna reel up to the rover and then walk forward, Mike. You want a glove, Mike? Mike, you want gloves? No. Uh oh, save it on the props. There you go, pull him in now. We got him. Oh, we're good. He's got him, he's right here. Alright, keeper, first one in the boat. Alright, another fish on the rover. Opposite side this time. That's a good one. Well, if you guys are showing me something about these rovers, if we've got two bites so far, both on the rovers, opposite Bill? sides. Yes, sir. We're going to bring that up. We probably want to clear. Go for it, Paul. Go forward. Forward, Paul. You walk. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's get a look at my hand. There we go. What no, is that? It's a cooter. Oh, it's a... Bummer. Spanish kingfish. Gonna see it. Yeah, he wasn't fighting he like a dolphin. He wasn't fighting like a dolphin, was he? So after a couple of early catches, we uh, picked up and went looking for more birds. But as we were searching, it really became more about dodging afternoon storms than it did uh, looking for the ideal fishing conditions. So as more and more storms popped up, we found a weather window and we shot for the Hillsborough Inlet. <laughs> Misunderstanding with the weather forecaster today. It's supposed to be rain and flat seas. We had big seas and no rain till the end of the day. So we're heading back in. We didn't get skunked. We got a mahi out of the deal. He's nice. Nice to pick up for sandwiches or mahi fingers. Very glad to have uh, Jason Smith with us today. Guest angler here on board Team Dale Pino and uh, host of the Google and the Pro G2P channel. Very glad to have him with us. and. Uh, we all got one mahi, one barracuda of it, but it's a good day on the water. Thanks for watching with us. Thanks, Paul. So, fun day. Um, nice to get the invite to come out here. This boat is gorgeous, by the way, Paul. This is uh, 
Yeah. Jupiter 34. Tons of space, tons of fishability. Um, for a little bit of a rougher day, like really comfortable ride too, even going 35, 40 knots in uh, rough seas out there. So we're heading in. I think the um, lessons learned for me were definitely around these rovers that this team uses. So these guys deploy these rovers on both sides of the boat. They're pre-made to go one direction or the other. They uh, look kind of like a, like a boom bird kind of slapping around the water to create some interest. So it kind of pulls mahi up from underneath weed lines or structure. And uh, they, they chase that commotion and wind up getting hooked up. So that was a cool thing to kind of see in action. I'm gonna go buy a pair of those. I recommend you guys do the same if you guys are out here. I'm sure they're deadly on tuna too. And the highlights are just spending, out, spending the day with a couple of great anglers on the water out here. We got chased only by some storms. And we're gonna go back and clean the fish, rinse the boat up, and uh, prep for the, uh, the next outing, guys. Thanks for watching. We're fishing next weekend with JJ and his neighbor Pat. And while you're waiting for that video, please check these other great fishing videos from GTP. Thanks for watching, guys.